Hi everybody from the wax community. I have gotten a little bit of wax in the mail. This is from the bathing garden. Just a small order. I got the Wonderland collection wax sampler and then just picked up a couple of other items that I thought I would like. So I figured I'd share them with you. Now I know a lot of people say, uh, you know, the bathing garden, oh, it's so gorgeous and her wax is really, really gorgeous and I just, I love it just for the aesthetics alone. But uh, some people are like, oh, I don't really get that much of a throw and I don't know, you know, I've been ordering from the bathing garden for, I, I don't know, I want to say like two years, at least two years and I don't really have that problem. I mean, I've had that problem maybe with a, a few of her scents, but not not with the majority of them. Um, but I do find that you do, um, I'm tripping over my own tongue. You do need to usually cure her stuff for a couple of months. But, you know, I really don't have that much problem. So anyway, we'll just get into it right now. <clears throat> I think I have allergies with the spring weather. Uh, anyway, I picked up some tinsel, which is, I don't remember what this is. It's like a cranberry, orange, flowery stuff. I forgot what the scent notes were for tinsel. And I thought I liked tinsel, which is why I ordered it, but I don't really like this scent. So I must be thinking of something else. I think I was thinking of mistletoe, actually. Is what I think. But, eh. Oh well. Um, and then I picked up this um, Six Impossible Things. And see, her wax is very, 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 very nice looking. It's so cute. And this is just, this is some kind of a coffee scent. It's, it's a strong coffee, but it's mixed with something, you know, like, I, I'm not really sure what it's mixed with, like almond milk or something, I have no idea. Can't remember what the scent notes were, but it's strong coffee, but not straight coffee. And then this, I was so bummed out because I, I accidentally ordered the small size, and I meant to order the large size. But, um, so I might have to go back and make another order soon. But I got this in the scent Seven Layer Cake, and I don't really smell anything. I don't know if it's just she, the, maybe this one forgot to have the scent oils put in it, or if it's just the scent is really, really, really mild. I don't know. If anybody ever got, like, this scent seven layer cake either in wax or body care let me know what it smells like because I really don't I just I don't know it's just it kind of smells yeah it just kind of smells very vaguely or faintly of of like um like if you were to mix a white cake not a white cake uh, a yellow cake maybe or a white cake something like that just the batter and it's it's really faint so I don't know it, maybe it's a good thing I ordered a, or accidentally got the smaller jar because I <clears throat> probably get a different scent <clears throat> and then of course whenever you order any any bath product she sends you <clears throat> a small sampler and this is pink berry shortcake in a sugar scrub I really like her body products and that smells really, really good. That just smells really sweet and pink and syrupy and, yeah, cakey. Smells good. And then, uh, I think these were the samples that she sent. Sweet Matt. <clears throat> Jeez. <clears throat> sweet Maddie. Which is... <clears throat> That smells like maybe a little floral, a little strawberry and orange mixed together with something. I wish I had the scent notes on the samples, but I don't. And then this one, sugared ice cream cone. Well, that's kind of self-explanatory. It's probably like a, like a vanilla. 
Isn't it cute? And they're, those are the perfect size for the warmer. Oh yeah, that smells like, oh, that smells, wow, that smells like ice cream. It's crazy. It smells like vanilla ice cream. And then I did pick up the Wonderland Collection sampler, which came in this nice little packaged, uh, in this little black bag. Oh, it says here, correction for the reddest crown, flaky pie crust, sweet sugared strawberries, and tart rhubarb. But, I don't know, she wrote something different. Oh, she, there's a scent list here. Um, the reddest crown, yellow pound cake. Oh, okay, yeah, so it doesn't have yellow pound cake in it. It's a flaky pie crust. And which one was that? I'm like looking for a red one. Is it this one? No? <clears throat> Hello! Maybe it's this one. Oh yeah, this is it. The reddest crown. That's the flaky pie crust, the strawberry, and the rhubarb. Oh yeah, I do get a tart rhubarb. That's really neat. That really smells like a strawberry rhubarb pie in a way. And of course, even her samples are so cute. It's like a flower with sprinkles on there. Um, I'll tell you though, I've gotten a few of her samplers <clears throat> before and I only really like about half of these scents, so this is not my favorite sampler, the Wonderland one. Um, this one is just called Blue Wonderland, All the scent notes are, this is so nice, she gave you a nice little list. Um, Blue Wonderland, rich milky cheesecake with blueberry jam. That is nice. That's kind of what it smells like. I don't really get, I get more of a, like a blue slushy blueberry jam mixed in with like sugar and maybe a little cheesecake. I think that'll smell good on warm. The next one is called Chasing Time. It's a little cute bunt. Chasing Time is peppermint shavings, black tea, sprinkled with light notes of clove and spearmint. Yeah, I kind of like that. It, it actually, the tea, the clove, the spearmint, and all that, it makes it kind of like a fresh, clean scent versus the bakery scent. Just like the, the peppermint and that. That was really neat, actually. <clears throat> Next one is marzipan poppy cakes. Oh, that's cute. A little two-tone bunt cake. Uh, marzipan poppy cakes. Creamy almond marzipan is swirled with pomegranate, orange, and cinnamon and cardamom. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can definitely smell, like, that cherry almond mixed with cake and then the orange and cinnamon. I actually like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I must have put all the ones I like on top because I remember I, only, I liked like half of these scents and I didn't like the other half. And this is Strawberry Nonsense. Strawberry Nonsense is zucchini bread, strawberry jam, strawberries with cotton candy and vanilla. Yeah, that's really nice. That's, that's, um, it's more of a realistic type strawberry. A strawberry jam type of smell. Toned down a little bit with the cotton candy and vanilla. It's nice. 
This one is a Queen's Decree, which I've gotten before, and I actually like it. This is clove and peppermint, nutmeg, and cream. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's just like a really, it's very spicy. Very spicy. So, uh, clove. Clove stands out the most in that one. I actually do like that, but I have to be in the mood for it. Um, nothing whatever. Cute green bunt. Aren't they just the cute little pictures on her? Um, on the packaging. It's so cute. Okay, nothing whatever is earthy, wild mint, and ivy topped with vanilla cream. Oh god, yeah. I don't like that one. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it smells like I don't know. It smells like dirt and mint. That's for sure. <clears throat> These are probably the ones that I didn't care for. The <laughs> Down the rabbit hole. Got lots of cute sparkles. Um <laughs> Down the rabbit hole is candied mango, tart raspberry, and sweet furze blossom. Whatever that is. Yeah, I don't really care for that. <clears throat> it might be, I mean, I might be able to tolerate like in the bathroom if I just walk by it and smell it. Every once in a while, not something I want to be like sitting in for hours, you know, like sleeping in chilling out with. Beware the Queen's Jabberwocky. That's a heart. Beware the Queen's Jabberwocky is jasmine and tuberose with patchouli and woodsy notes. Ugh. Yeah. Like, that smells good. I can smell the patchouli and some floral notes and I don't know. You know what? I kind of, I like patchouli. Here's the thing about me and patchouli. It's like when I first smell it, like once or twice, I'm like, oh, that smells so good. And then it, but there's something about it that after a couple of minutes, I start getting like a headache and I'm like, eh, I gotta turn it off. And then, oh, this is the last one in the sample. It's Caterpillar Mischief. And Caterpillar Mischief is apricot, lemon jam, caramel cake bites, and coconut vanilla. No, that one's okay. I mean, I think it's doable. That was another one that, eh, that's all right. So, I don't know, maybe my nose is different today. <laughs> I seem to like more of them today than I like um, when it came in the mail a couple days ago. So there you have it. I don't remember her putting this in, the scent list, in the package before. Maybe she did. I don't remember. Anyway, so that's my bathing garden haul. And if you liked it, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.